Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm working on this package heat pump by train of course. And these were my readings. What do you notice that's off? Tell me what's wrong with this AC right now. It's got a TXV. All right, I'll give you a little bit more. Give you another 30 seconds. Came out here, this is why it's super important to have preventive maintenance. Um, some people are like, oh, you know, you don't, you don't need to maintain it. Some people are that dumb that they tell their customers, oh no, this was put in in somewhere in 2019. So, a year ago, or a little bit over a year ago. And some people tell their customers, oh, you know, you don't have to maintain it, it's brand new. Well, yeah, it is brand new, so that's why you should uh, check for any manufacturer's defects. If you haven't figured it out, according to these readings, this system is low. The subcooling is way too low. Uh, most expansion valves I've seen, even across all manufacturers, because... I work on a lot of them. And I say an average number is between 8 and 10. Rarely do I see anything lower than that for subcooling. Which is what you really want to look at when you have a TXV. So anyways. Check this out. Look how thin that weld is, right? There it is. There it is. <clears throat> Anytime you see a weld that thin, guys and gals, that's a dead giveaway. And it wasn't a big leak, or there's not like all kinds of oil anymore, but. There it is. Alright. So. I will go ahead and correct that. Put that on schedule to fix it because it is uh, 4:40, and I don't have time to fix that right now. I'm about an hour and a half from my house, so we're gonna have to put that on the schedule. Of course, um, that's just a manufacturer's defect. Um, has nothing to do with the installation. I mean, the installation was really good. It's just. Sometimes they have some, some uh, you know, guy that's welding or doesn't know how to weld and nobody came after him to check his welds or, you know, the QA guy wasn't very good. So you get these types of problems. Anyways, well, keep on the lookout for these things. Thanks for watching.